welcome back. Well, we have Dr. Lee Goldstein here on behalf of Concerned Citizens. Welcome to the studios. How are you? Thank you. Welcome. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Well, thank you. And then we have a very exciting day coming up, Earth Day. And I was talking to you a little bit off camera as to why the Concerned Citizens have chosen to highlight Earth Day. Well, Earth Day is back. <laughs> um, Earth Day has existed since 1970 nationally. Mm -hmm. it, helped, it led to the creation of the Environmental Protection Agency. And I believe it's been here in Laguna Woods for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And a number of years ago, the Concerned Citizens took over essentially producing Earth Day for, for, for our residents. Okay, all and right, awesome. You know, you said it was the, it was the uh, development of the EPA. That's interesting. Well, that was in 1970, and there were a lot of environmental concerns nationally. Right. I think pollution was probably at the top of the list then, mm -hmm. uh, and the senators who helped lead that effort mm -hmm. uh, created Earth Day. Earth Day created came out of the whole national discussion about. Right about how to solve environmental problems. Okay, and then here we are today, still worried about pollution. We're still worried about a lot of the same things that we've been worried about for many, many years. What are some things that uh, will be discussed on Earth Day? Well, our Earth Day is April the 21st from one to four in Clubhouse One. Mm -hmm. uh, we have designed the program so that there are essentially two parts. Uh, one part will be speakers, uh, the first which, and I think the total amount of time for that will probably be 45 minutes for all of them together. Okay. Uh, the first speaker will be talking generally about climate action. They're from the Climate Action Campaign, okay. which is starting here in Orange County to try to produce more resilient cities and okay. towns and neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. uh, the second speaker, uh, speakers will be about organic waste recycling, which I think has become yes. a big issue here in, well, in Laguna you Woods. Know, it has, <laughs> and we had a discussion with Robert Carroll, who is in charge of general services here, and he went through all the different kinds of things that we can use to put all of our food in. <laughs> well, so. I, we are going to have a presentation by the city of Laguna Woods, Woods okay. and CRR, CR and R okay. uh, will also be, I think, the prime presenters of that component of, of the talk. Mm -hmm. We're also going to give people free compostable bags Ooh, so that uh, they can see how, how their green way, their organics can, can be managed that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, we, we think that that should, should be a popular part, part of our program. Mm -hmm. And the third speaker will be talking about water conservation. Yeah, well, we know that's very important and these that's days. Very we're just important. not getting enough rain. Well, we're not getting enough rain, mm -hmm. and, but we are thinking about it a lot. I mean, I'm very impressed that Laguna Woods Village is very concerned about how we, how we manage our, our resources. And, and that's sort of the theme which mm -hmm. came out of a discussion of our committee is that there is a way. Right. And there is a way for us to intelligently use our resources, um, keep our costs reasonable, yeah. and still have a beautiful community. And, and, and it just takes the leadership and the concern to, to, to do that. Okay. Now, in addition to the speakers, you also have some exhibitors that are going to be Yes, there. we do. We have quite a few. The, okay. Each of the speakers will have their own table. We'll also have the Pacific Marine Mammal Center, oh. a solar uh, provider will have a table. Mm -hmm. um, we will have a tree table, since trees have become a big issue here again. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have a table that... Uh, has drought tolerant plants and where folks will be available to discuss turf reduction. Um, so yeah, there'll be a lot of choices. I believe their total will be like 10 or 12 exhibitors. Well, that's a lot of great information in one day and you know that hopefully people can walk away with uh, ideas of how they can, because I know drought tolerant and turf are really important because if you use both of those, you're certainly using a lot less water. Uh, Yes, I mean, drought, there, there are plants that grow best in California and, and in areas where mm -hmm. drought has been an issue ongoing for perhaps thousands of years <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and have adapted. And, 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 I, and I think that the landscape 
folks here in Laguna Woods Village have been doing a good job of, of putting those those plants in anyway. But but I think that there people around around their their homes are concerned about saving water and also having a nice looking plantings, yeah. and so that yeah. there are there are options that fit well with that. Right. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for all the information. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. All right. And remember, Earth Day is April 21st, and uh, you can participate in this great Earth Day event that's put on by the Concerned Citizens. We'll be right back.